What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more of The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. Let's go over here and go ahead and check out the notice boards. If you guys saw the previous game, you'll be familiar with the contracts and notice boards. Um, just a bunch of basic quests that we have to do in order to generate some funding. So let's go ahead and snag all these. Might find something interesting here. Got an interesting quest to go and find the Trolls Lair. We'll get around to that. Also have to learn more about the Neckers. To learn about the Indragas. Let's go on inside, shall we? Take a look around. <sighs> Greetings, folks. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold. Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Love got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby, and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Popper Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Inkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi crack owls, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Skoya, tells Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Skoya tell don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Skoya tell. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivel, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. 
In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Where were the mages? Aye. Where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. During the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Greetings! Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! Oh, crap! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. No one said anything about a beast? This is not what I signed up for. Well, I guess, I guess it kind of is. I'm a witcher, you know? Part of the whole ceremony. It's part of the job. You might want to move, dude. He didn't get hit. You can get up. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. I don't think it's her fault. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Hmm, to try a little convincing. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Droids you're looking for. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads, let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on! That pretty much always works. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn. The beast. 
that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Looks like Tris, we got work to do. How long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt, you saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar, it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. Or partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> All right, so we got to figure out what happened to the pier, along with a variety of other things. Let's talk to some people. How are you? you people got anything? Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. I can convince you. Speak up. Monsters as big as a barn, with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. That's probably the most inefficient belt I've ever seen. Definitely need to get some fashion people in the city. We met in this remember? I stood at the gate. Going somewhere, friend. I'm just looking around. What now? Ha! Uh, uh, got anything to say to me now? Ha! Welcome. All right, fine. I definitely seem to have fixed some of my frame issues. I'm getting solid 60 most of the time now, and none of that stuttering. So that is a good sign. and find a merchant. I would like to sell off some of this junk. Hello, fellas. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima. And I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead. Try to kill me. It's battle time! This guy's got nothing on me. I've got the yard spell! Yard! I'm not a damn pirate. Do I even have the right sword out? 
I think I do. Oh, -ho, that worked. You're dead, bandit. You're going down. Whoop! How is this shirtless man defending against my onslaught of attacks? I should be able to just decapitate him. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and put my sword away. So we don't freak everybody out in the town. Because they'll freak out and run if you leave your sword out for too long. Come on, put the sword away. Which, uh... Are you going to do it? Pretty sure that's how I do it. Oops. Hmm. Carrying too much weight again, of course. Should not have picked anything up yet. Drop that. I have to look up how to sheath my sword. I don't remember. I was pretty certain that was how it's done. Let's go over to the control options. Now it looks like I can't access them from here. Yeah, maybe... Ah, oh crap. I did it again. Maybe if I just keep moving... He'll, uh, he'll put it away. And I'll look up how to do that. I can't remember what key it was. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. By using the amulet, it allows me to see what sort of items are in the area. Kind of like holding alt in the previous game. My place is stairs there. Let's chat. Hey, boss. Look who's graced our smithy. It is that I. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy. Works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Oh, nice yeah. workshop. Bah. It's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how hm? can we help you? Teleported. Eh? Let's see... I'd like to do a little trade. One here to junk. I thought there was an auto sell option for junk. I can't remember now. Let's look at all items. We'll sort by weight. So we can get rid of some of this heavy stuff. I'm not going to sell all of them. Oh yeah, we have exactly 69. We'll sell off quite a few of them, however. Actually, before we proceed with that, let's go into the crafting so menu and see if there's anything he can make for us of value. All right, looks like we're gonna need some silver ore to make some cool sword. What's your silver sword? How does it stack up against my current sword? That's my real question. You might have some other uh, things that we can buy off of him to allow us to manufacture some other things. We're going to hear the crafting diagrams. Yes, yes, I understand. I wish this would go away so I could see what I'm doing. Jagged blade looks kind of nice. See how it stacks up against my current weapon. Moonblade is quite strong, but this uh, this one's got to go at some point. 